Hi, my name's Ambrose and I'm working on automatic annotations for type closure and closure.spec. Let's jump right in and look at an example. So here's a function add one. It's just a wrapper around the incrementing function. We have a little unit test here. Uh, let's pretend it's a unit test at least. That it passes it a number and it will return a number. So with, our, with this tool that I've developed, we can generate a spec from this. You can see the spec uh, captures this information that we've been talking about. Using this spec, we can generate uh, tests, we can use it for destructuring, and anything else that we've built on top of Closure spec. We can also use it to help type check our code with type closure. And it's just as easy as that. You can see uh, type closure needs, t needs types at the top level to uh, to help infer. It uses local type inference uh, instead of global type inference. So this annotation works with flat values. Let's look at something more complicated. So here's a wrapper around the keyword function. And keyword takes strings, it takes uh, keywords, uh, nil, and it also has a, a second array. So what happens when we uh, generate a spec for this? You can see this is pretty much exactly what you would write as a, uh, as a spec. You have the first arity that uh, has a name, which is one of the three types that I mentioned, and the second arity has, uh, has those two inputs. And of course it returns a nil or a keyword. And so you can see this infers multiple arity types as well. And this also is more succinctly uh, uh, written in a type closure type. As you can see, there's a bit of tweaking to do because it's a little too fine-grained here. But of course, it, this doesn't just take A's, it takes keywords. Uh, but let's move on. Uh, Closure.spec can also type, it can also check macros. So here's a little expansion, a little macro for let. Uh, it just wraps let. I've got a few examples here. So let's generate a spec for it. As you can see, this is exactly what you would have for let. And I've taken a few liberties here because uh, macros are very, very often just uh, having a binding form and uh, uh, a body that this is basically the spec you'd get for let and this is reusing an internal spec uh, so you can uh, with this spec here you can automatically uh, get a specification checking at macro expansion time and uh, a, a very important piece of data in closure is a map type uh, you can see this point type takes in a couple of numbers and returns this attribute map that has an X and a Y key. Okay, so let's generate a spec for this. So here's the actual spec for point. It takes in an X and a Y, then it returns this alias key here. And you can see uh, uh, the way to define a, a map contract in uh, or a map spec in closure spec is with this keys function. And as we have unqualified keys. We um, we have to set up our aliases like this with the, with uh, the actual name of the key as the the name of the keyword at the end. Okay, so let's also generate a um, a type closure type, and this is exactly what you would write as a type closure type, except you would probably name this uh, point. Okay. So, to wrap up, this also works on higher order functions. Let's generate a spec for this. And you can see this uh, map function, and I should demonstrate what, the, uh, what this map function does. It takes collections of integers and symbols and function, one argument functions, and you can see this is uh, represented in the actual spec. And uh, it's a little more readable, but this is the same, uh, the same type, but with closure dot, uh, the type closure syntax. Okay, so the, there's a very quick demo of what I'm doing. 
this work is part of a crowdfunding uh, project on automatic annotations for type closure. If you want to head on down to Indiegogo and support me, that would be great. And it helps me work on this. And if you're excited about it, uh, please pledge today. Uh, thanks a lot.